morning guys, Greg Shaw here. It's the 3rd of July, 2021, and uh, we got a uh, volcano north of us that's, uh, she's throwing a fit right now. Uh, I saw, watch uh, My P.I. Dreams, that guy's got a, a video, he lives pretty close by it. I guess they're uh, coughing pretty good, his wife's got asthma and it's, it's causing them some trouble. Uh, hope before it gets too bad they can have a vacation away from there a little bit. Uh, I'm seeing on the news there's evacuations going on. Uh, today it doesn't seem it's as, as uh, dirty in the air as it has been. Uh, we're getting the the wind is coming from from the southwest on us today. It's coming from over there and uh, it just seems like it's been steady that way since last night so so I think that the track all this uh, spew that's coming out of that volcano might might go uh, north northwest like that. Uh, I know the town of uh, Lemery I guess they're they're getting it. There's a little puppy dog. But uh, it's pretty chilly this morning. I, I haven't been able to do the uh, temperature things because uh, one of the kids took my little thermometer and who knows where the hell it is. They might have might have put it on the table instead of where it goes, and then Fabe puts things away, you know, and d doesn't put them in a place that where <laughs> where you would put it. It'll go in something, and I'll find it in a year from now. So, but it's pretty it's pretty cool out here this morning. Uh, and we've got, uh, they're clearing all this off right now. I saw a plan of lots here uh, that this is supposed to be like a playground area here. So I don't know what, what the scoop is with that, uh, if they're ever going to get it done. They're still working on our rec center, uh, which is kind of, kind of cool. Um, getting that done they started doing like a area for a foundation up there and it sort of died I haven't seen anything else on that uh, you know it's nothing much getting done they got a, some of the construction crews are living in there and they bath in there and stuff but and cook but I'm not seeing that uh, you know they're getting anything else done on the outside with the you know supposedly a basketball court and a pool and all this kind of stuff but she is nice this morning. The air, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't smell as bad as it has been uh, with this volcano. Uh, I don't know what the, uh, they didn't like give the area uh, that was being evacuated. It might just be very close, you know, within so many kilometers. But uh, they did that last year in January. Uh, go back to those videos on that. And uh, we were we were pretty far away. I believe on the video, it's, uh, we checked it and we were 33 miles uh, from there. And we got dumped on with ash. It was amazing how much ash we got. And then Batangas, which is uh, way farther south, uh, you know, down along the southern coast here, they, they got a big pile. They got like, they were getting this much dumped on them. Uh, you saw aerial footages of the town where it was uh, one day and then the next day it was just gray. It looked just like, like that. And uh, it was it was something. It was a real, a real mess. And uh, a lot of people thought it was a good idea to wash it off of their car. Now, <laughs> it just turns into like a gook. So what, what we did with ours is we just took a broom and brushed it off. Uh, some of the people, they did their uh, roofs and stuff and they tried to wash it off and their, their drains got plugged. Uh, just a mess, it gets like a cement. It gets it real hard, but the, the ash, uh, I imagine it really helped out the rice fields though, because it's, it's a fertilizer. Uh, that's for sure, uh, but you know you got to take some things and take them as a blessing, I guess. But I don't know how how it's going to be with all these people uh, going out with the travel restrictions and all that. You know, are they going to put them in in centers and then push them into vaccines there? Who knows? You know, it'd be one of their things they do. I hope they don't force it. I did a, a talk a little bit about that last night. Yeah, it's a shame. It's a shame with just what's going on in this world with all this, with all this crap. But I want to walk you up here and uh, see behind this rec center how far they're getting with this foundation. 
we got one of the neighbors there. Uh, I guess he's he rented the rec center. He's got his barbecue ready, and he's going to have a, a barbecue tonight. And he invited us up, and I said, yeah, we'll, we'll come up. Me, I've been having uh, stomach. Stomach was bugging me again uh, as soon as I got up. Get a big glass of water, I start feeling better. You know, uh, no ulcer or anything like that 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 I know of. But uh, don't know why. It's just been just got a real funny queasy feeling in the mornings when I get up. But it seems if I get a uh, you know big big glass of water, I usually drink about a quart of water in the morning, usually around my walk time. Uh, then then it just pretty much goes away. But uh, don't uh, don't get that. What's going on with it? But we'll see. Next time we we'll just freeze up a little bit. I want to get a uh, regular physical and just have everything looked over. You know, I haven't had one since. Oh my goodness, quite a while, quite a while. But uh, the, my wife put that uh, mixture, the ancient Chinese secret, uh, and she put that on my back last night and rubbed that in pretty good. And of course, that was really cool. I got a back rub out of the deal. <laughs> Those are few and far between, I'll tell you. But uh, it's, it's feeling okay. I was, uh, back was a little bit sore when I got up, but I get my hikes in early, and uh, it feels better. Oh, they, they did do some corners here. I'll go over here a little bit. I'd go in there, but it's all wet right now. Okay, so they're, well, no, they just got them. They're not uh, put up. They're just sitting there. But they got the trench dug pretty deep. This, they cut all this down uh, a while back. This was so high, this was like a tunnel in here. And they got it, uh, they got it cleared up. And then all that grass there where that foundation is, they had that cropped right to the ground. Things here in this country grow really quick. Uh, when we had that hurricane back, I think it was 2016, and it was a pretty good, uh, pretty good hurricane. I remember thinking, oh my, it's going to take forever for this place to recover. And we had a little area we went through. Uh, you know, they had a lot of banana trees and stuff like that. And uh, it, it <coughs> doesn't take long. <coughs> Excuse me. But that's all they've done. It's actually filling back up with dirt letting the grass grow so they're they're not really uh they're not really putting in the effort into this back here but there's our rec center looks like it's got kind of a nice uh dance floor but i don't see too many plugs out there for for uh you know plugging in speakers and stuff like that if you're gonna if you have a big party on there you know, they'll be running extension cords from the inside. Maybe they don't want people stealing the electricity or something, but I believe what you do here is if you want to use it, you, you rent it. You go pay a small fee. And here, a lot of these fees are very inexpensive compared to the West. I mean, if you if you went in the United States, like for a wedding or something, and wanted to rent something like this, it'd be very, very expensive. But what we found is the prices are are just so cheap here for stuff like that so you can have pretty nice big parties and then you can also get people to come in and cater uh, they'll, the whole family will come in and just do all the cooking and everything supply the food and the prices are just unbelievable there's the labor charge is almost nothing uh, I remember years ago a new lady that catered and helped her from time to time and the, the money that she made I mean she made a, a good living at her work but here it's not like that it's not like that at all I think I'm gonna take a little walk up here these ones they just clipped and then the day before we had that really big rain they sprayed this down with a bunch of uh, chemicals the guy had a big tank on his back pumping it up and just spraying the heck out of this so and then it was it was only a few hours later we had a really big downpour but one thing about this country it uh, it seems to heal pretty quick uh, I still remember that uh, hurricane we went through about 1030 in the morning we were in the eye of it and I went outside and was just uh, amazed trees that had been there for 100 years knocked over 
one of them fell into the the house just up from us smashed the whole front of the house in and they never took it they just it's still there it's still smashed in the front of the house and they're still living in the house with the big smashed in front <laughs> But maybe they don't have the money to get it out of there. They trimmed this tree back a little bit for the power lines. They were out here clipping the heck out of that. And these things get like a big canopy. Love these trees. That'd be a, a great tree to bow hunt out of. But just another beautiful morning here. It's uh, did my my walk earlier didn't get uh, didn't get really sweaty at all because we've got a nice breeze going. Uh, morning. Uh, new houses are starting all over the place in here. I'm glad they're finally getting off their butts and and getting them going. Uh, we'll have some we'll have some new neighbors. I saw some uh, some people come. And you know they were they were looking at their guys back at the shack. My uh, battery took a took a crap on us while I was walking. Uh, the one thing one thing I don't like about this, and I wish they would uh, would remedy in future models, would be have some sort of an early warning system that the battery's getting down. Have something that would show a percentage, or have it do a funny beep or something. It's got all these other beeps on it. And the other thing too that uh, that I would have liked to seen on it when I have it all mounted to my helmet, and uh, and I go to turn it on, somebody has to to tell me that it's on uh, because I can't hear the beep anymore. Once it's inside that uh, waterproof housing, you hear no sounds from this thing at all. You know, if I if I have it off of the helmet. But then I gotta mount it to the helmet and do all that stuff while it's running, and that's that's not good. It maybe edit it out, I guess. But but uh, right now I have somebody uh, that'll watch it. You know, I, I look at the side, make sure the numbers start showing up, and then look to see in the back if the red lights on. But that's something they could have uh, they could have remedied. Uh, there's no adjustment for that I saw on the volume for it. I'll look again. Uh, I do have the the book. Somebody somebody sent me the book online, and I was reading through that. And uh, that would be nice to have a little louder. We got a nice young fellow there. He's he's working. The way they're doing these holes, uh, when they dig, they give them a set price for the hole, and these guys will work all day, and then either before work in the morning or uh, or after work at night after five then they dig those holes and they get like a set price I believe it's like $800 per hole uh, that these guys get and they, they dig them pretty deep and uh, they don't they don't mess around these kids uh, these guys are workers Coco was working in a hole they each they each get a hole now this one here I'm gonna show you what they got done so far on this one I'll get up a little closer it's, and uh, they really got the they got the concrete in there. I really like the way they do these footings. Uh, I was, I, somebody found an engineering site on the Facebook and invited me. And it's about uh, the Filipinos, how they engineer concrete work and all this kind of stuff. <clears throat> and for the ground like this, this is this is the best way to put a pad. I was reading a couple articles on that because. Uh, you know, they, if you just throw one big piece, it'll settle, things will crack, things will break. And uh, when you do it like this, uh, it, all I know is to call it is like post and beam. They may not call that here, but uh, that gives you a really good good foundation. We have seen a lot of these, uh, these houses from this company that have been up for a while. And uh, we're not seeing any kind of cracks or anything in any of them. What gets me though is like this one here, if you look how wide the block is on the firewall and then you look at that house over there, they just use the little super skinny super skinny blocks on the on the outside wall also. Just like just like what they used on our inside. So you know you don't I, I guess you don't know what you're gonna get. It depends on the architecture or who's who's ever running that job. Uh, I personally like that they put the, the much thicker wall in. And uh, 
you know that's pretty that's pretty cool to me but i'm gonna go ahead and let you go uh, i'll keep keep you updated on this uh volcano if anything else happens and uh Right now, uh, I'm going to get in on the phone and start looking. I know they don't give a lot of news over in the States about this kind of stuff, just little snippets, but it, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal right now. You know, I know they are evacuating people and this kind of stuff, but precautions, uh, you know, that's a precaution thing. Heck, anytime there's a volcano and it starts, starts getting ready to spew, I'd be hightailing out of there. They wouldn't have to evacuate me. I, I would get out on my own. Uh, I saw, I remember when Mount St. Helens happened, and boy, I'll tell you, that was really something. Uh, you know, you didn't want to be around there, so hopefully it doesn't get too bad, and uh, you guys all take care. Don't forget to pray for each other, and uh, pray for these dang leaders in these countries that they'll just stop this nonsense that's going on with all this, uh, you know, this convict stuff. It's, it's, it's just going too far. People are starting to wake up, though. They can't... Uh, program us in the media there's a lot of people still programmed because that's all they watch is their nightly news but a lot of us are starting to watch uh other outlets of news uh you know on on the web and that kind of stuff and they they just can't they can't hide it use your common sense guys uh you know use your common sense when when in the history did they try to bribe you into taking a vax why are they pushing this why you know why are why are they what do they care you know, what interest do they have in you getting this jab? I'm not getting it. It's a red flag, guys. I mean, it's just red flags all over the damn place. And you should wake up and smell that coffee. So, and with, uh, with my coffee thing, I'm going to let, I'm gonna let Tim, uh, Tropical Tim say the ending. Right, Tropical Tim, and we'll see you guys. Take care.